I think some weeks ago, I was here. I was teaching on the seven sacraments and divine order God put in the church. How many of you were in that meeting? Yeah. Once you, you, you leave the initial sacrament, baptism, Holy Communion, uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit, the one they call confirmation, that is baptism of the Holy Spirit. When that hand is laid on you, you are supposed to be filled with the Holy Spirit and speak in other tongues. If you want to understand that thing, contact and transmission, which you call laying on your hands. It's the same thing that happens when you plug your phone into a socket. That contact leads to transmission of power. That's what charges the phone. Now, that's what we do with laying on our hands. We're supposed to transmit something. But if you don't have power, can you plug your phone to a socket without power and expect anything to charge? I was illustrating it that week with candle. This Holy Spirit is fire, the fire of the Spirit. You are supposed to be baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. But if I carry candle now, there is fire. All of you have your candles. Everyone do like this. You want to know what your candle is? Show it to them one more time. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. I, the Spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Once you have a spirit, you are alive. You are not dead. You have a candle. But the fire on the candle is the Holy Spirit. And it is when fire comes upon it, you start functioning at your maximum capacity. You see, this human spirit is the candle. The Holy Spirit is what ignites it. Can you notice that even the people who minister in music, as they minister, you can tell the level of combustion coming out of their spirit at their song. Anybody can sing the song. But combustion and energy coming at it is not the same level. How many of you can tell that? Mm -hmm. The ones whose engine is generating superpower, you can tell. The one whose engine is um, battery power, you can tell. That's why the man who leads praise should be a praying person. Because prayer is how you ignite your spirit. That's how you ignite it. Is more than singing. And then there is even something else. When you come to minister to a larger crowd, it's different from singing where you have about 50 people, 30 people, 20 people. You can get away with many things there. This is also what decides why one man speaks, what he says happens. Another man speaks flat, nothing. You can be saying, demons, go! They are looking at you. Fire is not in your spirit. A prayerful man is a man that has fire. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. You know, you understand that. As basic as it is, that's what it is. Why does the man who pray have power? Because he's always connected to the socket. He is intermingling with the divine. He is fellowshipping with the source of all power. Prayer is plugging yourself into power. So by the time you come out to deal with people, there is excess power to release. 